right, folks. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a, um, a quick couple turns and rundown of uh, Freshwater Fly. Uh, I kickstarted this game, just received it last week, and finally getting to get some time to open it up and run through it. Um, this is the this will be the solo uh, version of the game, um, which uses this side of the board. The other side of the board is for multiplayer, essentially. Um, it plays up to four players. Uh, I've actually not sat down and played a full game of it yet, so I'm not sure if the 40 to 90 minute playtime is accurate or not. Um, I did get uh, Kickstarter, um, I don't know if they're exclusive, but they are sort of deluxe upgrades. There's a nice kind of leather bag um, that came uh, separate and included all these fly. You can see it's nice thick, uh, let me see over here better, nice uh, screen printed pieces of, of wood. Um, the the uh, components that come with the game are just uh, little pieces of little you know cardboard tokens nothing nothing wrong with them but these are definitely nicer uh, but they feel heftier the um, the real token is 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 nice um, it's it's basically just a shaped piece of wood the one again the one that can comes with the game here is just a large cylinder. Again, nothing wrong with it. Um, the 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 deluxe components also are a. Uh, this is the finesse token is cardboard, in the in the main game, and so is the uh, the drag token. Um, so this is essentially a game about uh, fly fishing. Uh, first player to catch seven fish. Uh, that's the end game trigger, and then you count points. So it's not don't think that if you're going to you're going to catch seven fish and automatically win um it, it is it is a race but it is you also have to manage your points um i did go ahead and go through the setup for the solo player so uh, i can run through that real quick uh, that way you guys can see kind of what was done um i'm gonna have to run back here to the, the book here all right so use the opposite side of the board um on the main board these rock spaces are uh, preset um, and they're kind of staggered. Um, when you play through the solo game, you're going to be uh, at many. You're playing against uh, the silent angler, um, and you are going to be um, you're playing against him at several different locations, and it's sort of like a overall score, like campaign style game, if you want to call it that, I guess. Um, but location one starts off with the rocks in these uh, locations, or these uh, that configuration, rather. Um, the hatch tiles down here at the bottom, um, there, there are little numbers, uh, so they are double-sided. If you're playing the four-player game, they can, uh, have the, you know, they include the number of players in the bottom left, uh, of which, who it's meant for. Um, in the bottom right, um, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see that very well, uh, but there's a number of these these hatch tokens the, that's what these are called um, there's a that symbol and then a number and that just means how many of the hatch tokens are on that tile um, these excuse me these um, hatch tiles are laid out in a specific configuration for each location there's a there's a map um, that basically tells you how to set it up um, but each suffice it to say each this is a four this is a four this is a four this is a four this is a four, this is a four, and then the one that's off board here, which you can't see, is a five. Um, and essentially, um, after each round, this one is going to slide off, then that one's going to come on, and then this one's going to go back to the, the, the opposite side. So it kind of keeps cycling through. Um, when you play the normal game, um, the, the hatch tokens kind of go into a discard pile, and then you get... Um, you're going to randomly draw out of a bag more hatch tokens to go on the, the next tile that comes on. Uh, but for the solo game, it just keeps cycling in and around. You keep the same amount of hatch tokens on there. Um, each tile corresponds with a column. So you have column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4, 5, and 6. Um, uh, 
so that's that setup. These were all these these hatch tokens were all in a bag, and you randomly draw them and place them out on the tiles. Um, so there's no rhyme or reason to that. It's just completely random. Um, you start the game with one card in each rock deck. So there's only one card here, one card here, and one card here. Um, as I progress through the campaign, I may have uh, two cards in each and three cards, etc. Um, they're basically, if I were to catch a fish that is adjacent, orthogonally adjacent to uh, one of the rocks, I get to take a card. Um, and it's going to have a special ability that I can use, or a, a skill, I think they're called skill cards, um, that I'll be able to uh, use through my turn to continue to, to allow me to do better, basically. Um, the fish are all, the fish deck is up on the top right there, um, just randomly shuffled and then lay them out, you know, top row, middle row, bottom row. <clears throat> uh, so there's not any particular setup for that. Um, and when you start the solo campaign, you have to, you get to randomly choose one of the momentum tiles, um, or you don't randomly choose it. You're supposed to choose it. I just chose it by random because I'm not, I haven't played this before, so I didn't have any, uh, knowledge as to what would be the better choice but if i were to get this momentum tile it will allow me to increase my finesse by one as well as cast into column four um, so then uh, as uh, uh, to continue setup um, you get to randomly or not randomly i don't know why i keep saying randomly you get to choose one of the flies to attach to your reel, so I just chose the, the white fly here. You can see there's all, all these other colors of flies. There's yellow, orange, blue, gray, white, green. I think that's it. Yep. Five different colors. Um, so... I guess we can just go ahead and get started with this, um, and we'll kind of go through the different actions. Again, I'm playing as a silent angler. Um, you'll kind of see how things how things go here. So, the first thing you're going to do is um, a round is consists of taking dice actions. So you're going to have a number of dice. The number of dice corresponds with the the um, hatch tile that you have off board so this one is a five it's the only five of the hatch tiles that i have out here so for the first round i'm going to have five dice and i'm going to roll them so i got a one another one a three a five and a six um so what i do essentially is <clears throat> I'm going to take three actions, and then the Silent Angler is going to get two actions. My options for actions are I can cast if I don't have a fish on the line. I can reel if I do have a fish on the line. Or I can just increase my finesse level by two by wasting a die. Um, you and You're going to see probably pretty quick how how this is all going to roll out, um, how, how you might want to use each one. Um, so again, I take three actions first, and then the Silent Angler goes. So first, um, let's see. When you cast, you're going to, I'm going to have to cast, basically, my first action. You're going to take the, the cast token here, and you're going to put it out on a fish um, that corresponds to, to the dice you pick, um, or the, a fish in the column of the dice you pick. Um, now I have a white fly, so that basically means, um, I'm going to get cards, um, whenever I go to a fish that has a similar, um, hatch color, sorry. Um, so what I may want to do is I may want to go, I want to, I may want to pick five um and and pick here and now I, let's just as an example i may want to put it here i don't have any white there's no white um hatch tokens 
in that column. So I do not get a, a card. There are four of these cards. Um, and they there three of them are misses, and one of them is uh, you hooked a fish. So they get shuffled up randomly at the start of each uh, each player's turn. Or each fish they go to try to catch, I guess, when they cast. Um, so that's su su sufficiently shuffled. I'm going to move these dice over here. Um, well, let's just play. Let's just go. All right, so I'm going to go three. And I will cast here. So I chose three. And I'm going to cast on the dolly. Um, there are no white hatch tokens in this column. Therefore, I do not get a card. I have not... The only way to hook a fish is to get the, the, the correct card that comes out that says you hooked a fish. So... I have my only option now is to drift. I can drift downstream, so you drift from right to left, um, and I can drift orthogonally or diagonally. So I have my options. I can drift onto the rock if I want to, but why would I want to do that? Um, I'm not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drift down here diagonally to this um, this fish here. Now I should probably note at this point that <clears throat> the Kickstarter. Um, there was a mix-up, and some of the English editions got shipped with German cards. And I was lucky enough to get the German cards. So um, they have uh, the the publisher, uh, 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 Bellwether Games. They, there's a form up. You just fill it out, and they'll they're gonna send send me out the you know correct uh, pack of cards. But I, I'm not gonna try to butcher these German names of these fish. So. Uh, it's not really relevant to the game. Everything else about the cards was in uh, English, so it, it's not like it's unplayable. It just I'll have a deck of German cards. Um, so I moved here. Now the first time you uh, come to a, uh, f a fish that you have one of your hatch tokens on, you're going to draw a single card. Just, I'm just looking at something here real quick. No. When I first placed it down, if there had been a white token here, I would have gotten one card. Whenever you drift onto a card and there's a token of yours in that column, you will gain two cards. So, I will gain two cards. So the fish, the first card, that's a miss. And the second card, that's obviously a catch, or a hook, rather. So I've hooked. Now what do I do? Pick up the fish from under the casting token. And um, flip it over and place it directly above the matching section of the reel. So this is a diamond fish. So it gets set over here under my diamond section. Now there's a couple uh, things on this uh, card to look at here. The top right is the amount of victory points it's worth. The... Um, the number in the drag token or the real token or symbol there. Oh, it's having a hard time focusing. Um, that's the that's the strength. So that's a seems like it's a fairly strong fish. Um, I'm gonna guess maybe that's sort of some sort of rainbow trout. I'm not quite sure. Um, then we pick up a token that matches the color of the the fly that I use. So it's a white token, and we put it inside my reel. And we set it at the start location, which is at the 12 o'clock position. If the fish was hooked orthogonally adjacent to a rock card, take the topmost rock card. So now it's orthogonally adjacent to this one and this one. Um, I think I'm going to choose to take this one. Okay. So this is a special power I can use. 
uh, at any time, and it will be used consistently. And basically it says if I reduce, look at the focus a little bit there. If I reduce my finesse by three, um, I can either cast into the five column five or increase my real position by uh, three uh, spots. So I'm just going to set that off to the side here uh, to, to note that I have it. Um, the empty fish space gets filled back over. So we got another fish coming there. Now, there's no more rocks there, so... I'm not sure if the rock space gets refilled. Let's just say it does. It does not say in, in particular, but we'll go ahead and fill it up. Okay, so that was my um, first action with three. So I'm gonna take the cast cards and we're gonna shuffle them back up. So now I have a fish on the line. So how does, uh, now I'm gonna probably wanna reel to reel that fish in. So how does that work? Well, there are a number of spaces on the reel here. One, two, three, four, five. Every time the, the reel passes the um, top position, the starting position, the fish will move down one, one section. As soon as it moves all the way off, I will actually land, I will catch the fish and uh, um, it'll go into my scoring pile. So, um, I have several dice I can still choose from. Um, what I will do is I will choose the six and I'll move this six spots. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. So that moves that down there and then this allows me to take my drag token and put it on top of the fish. Oh, wait, sorry. Let's redo that. Fish strength is three. I chose a six. So six minus the fish strength is how many I actually move. So I go one, two, three. This says I can increase my finesse by one. So my finesse goes up here. Now, I have several different finesse options I can I can take, I can use. To sp I can spend one finesse to plus or minus a die by one, but I cannot increase a six to a seven or a one to a zero. I can move a hatch token, one to the left or one to the right. Or if I am trying to land a fish, try to hook a fish, I can flip over an extra um, cast card to try to land it or to hook, to hook it. Um, for two or three, once I have two or three finesse, I can actually either swap out my fly for a different color or flip it over. And then if I get it all the way to four, <clears throat> it allows me to take my drag token and put it down on a fish that I have on the line to negate the strength each one of those i use will just use one finesse uh, token or one finesse level i guess so if i used four i would it just uses one and it goes to three it doesn't use all four but i have to get all the way up to four in order to use four um all right so that was the six and then i'm going to continue to reel i've got a five uh, so five minus three is two so we'll go one two and then that drops that down that fish down to there and that's it that was my three actions so now the silent angler goes the silent angler just has two ones to choose from so 
when the silent angler, basically all he's going to do is he's going to cast. He always casts to the bottom row, and that's the row closest to the hatch tiles. So, he will cast into column one. He'll take this one. He's going to use column one. He casts here at the steelhead. He doesn't have any, the silent angler doesn't use any particular fly color. Um, so all he, but he always, whenever he lands on a fish, he always is going to draw a card. So he has basically three chances most times. Here he's only going to have once because when he drifts, he's going to drift off board and he's not going to get a second chance. So uh, we'll flip over one. That's a miss. He drifts off board. So that's his action for that. Now he has another one. He's basically going to do the same thing. Go on the steelhead. We're going to take this deck. We're going to shuffle it up. We're going to flip the top card. It's a miss. He drifts off board. Doesn't catch anything. Let me give these, this deck another shuffle. I think I'm going to have to try to get some sleeves for this card. There's also an app for this game, but I have not downloaded it, so I'm not sure. It would be nice if it had a function to randomly choose these. That way you can uh, kind of get rid of the, the cards there. Because this is going to be, this is really fiddly, I think. Uh, it would have been better if it was maybe a die roll. Well, I don't know. All right. It, maybe eight cards with two successes. That probably would have been better. Just feels a little more, feels a little meatier. Meatier. Um. Let's say he had chosen, so that's it, his turn's done. Um, <clears throat> so this slides off. These all slide down. This one comes onto the board. And then this one goes back over here to the, to the just off board. Now, uh, getting back to the angler here, uh, just let's say he went here. When he drifts, he drifts diagonally up. And then he drifts dragonly up again. So that's how his drifting works, essentially. All right, that was the end of the round. Um, if the silent angler did not catch a fish this round, his finesse goes up by one. Then we move the hatch tiles. And then we re-roll. All right. So, the off-board tile now is a four instead of a five. The five is on the board here in the six column. So one of these dice will go away, and I'm only rolling four dice. I still get three actions, but the Silent Angler now is only going to get one action. That's a one. All right, so I have a one two, three, and four. Um, all right, so my three actions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the four. I'm going to reel with the four. So four minus three is one. That's going to move me over here, one. And that is where I get to take my drag token and put it and cover up the strength for that fish. So I've set my drag properly that fish is not going to be putting up as much uh, as strong as a fight now I, i'm assuming that's sort of how this plays out i have uh, several other um let's see one two three one two all right i'll take the three Hmm, maybe I won't take the three. I'm going to take the one that moves this around here. And that allows me to take this, um, this momentum tile, which says for one, I can spend one finesse. And then um, that allows me to, or no, it, uh, I gain one finesse. And then I cast into column four. Um, and I can use that at any time before or after a dice action. Uh, 
I can't use it right now because I, I have a fish on the line, so I can't cast. But I will use the three die and go one, two, three to drop him back down to the lower level. And those are my three actions. And now the silent angler takes an action. He goes into the bottom row of number two. We're going to shuffle these up because I can't remember if I did or not. Okay, miss. So then he drifts up here to the Pharrell. Another miss. He drifts up here. There's no fish. He's off board, so he doesn't catch anything. End of round. He did not catch anything, so his finesse goes up by one. These are going to get shuffled again. This is coming off board. These are all sliding down. This comes on board. This goes over here to the beginning. It is still four, so I still have four dice. So I'm going to re-roll. A one, a two, and two fours. All right, so. Hmm. I'm going to take a four to continue reeling. One, two, three, four. So this tile says if it's a diamond fish, it goes back one space, which it will, and it gives me plus one finesse. If it had been the green fish, it would have just completed. And if it was the uh, middle fish, the, the black fish, nothing, nothing happens. Uh, gray fish, whatever. That's one action. Um, I actually only need the two to go one, two, and then he comes off board. I get there, and this goes into my score pile. Um, I do not believe anything else happens, but let me check. This comes off and goes into my score pile as well. And then I have one action left. I have a one or a two. Or, uh, sorry, a one or a four. But I could also... It's not going to help me any. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna spend one finesse to change my lure. I'll just flip it over to a yellow lure. Then No, not a yellow lure. Sorry. A green lure. Lure. And then I'm going to spend my momentum here. It makes that go up there. And then this just goes back up here and allows me to cast into column four. And I will cast um, here. There are no green hatches, so I do not draw a card. And then I drift. I drift over here to this dolly. Um, and then 
there are multiple greens here, so I get to flip two cards. So card one, and it's a catch. Card two would have been a miss, but it doesn't matter because I got the card one, which is a hook. So I have hooked this fish. So I grab that fish. I flip it over. This dolly is worth one point, and it has no strength. And it's green, so it's easiest, so it starts way over here. I will take a green one of these, and I will put it here, make sure it's in the top right position. This comes back over here and gets shuffled. Um, now, I did hook that fish adjacent to a rock, so I will get this as well. And it says, for two finesse, I can cast into column three. And then this gets refilled. And I still have one action left. Um, what I can do is use the four, and that will advance me four. One, two, three, four. Now this tile says it's green. I just go ahead and advance one more, which nets me that card. So I get that card for scoring, and then that token comes off and goes into my scoring pile as well. And now it's the Silent Angler who is going to cast, he's going to use the one die, and he casts there. Um, shuffle these up. Does he catch it? He does. He lands that fish, so he just gets it. It comes off. Um, let me make sure I'm doing this right for him. Um, if the silent angler hooks a fish, award the silent player the hooked fish, and one hatch token from the same column, so he gets this fish, we'll, we'll keep his pile over here, ooh, it's a six pointer, um, and then he used a one, and a one would be a yellow, uh, according to this, um, the, 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 the dice diagram right above, at the very top to the right of his finesse track there. One is a yellow. Um, there are no yellow here. So the next in clockwise would be a white six, which there's none, and then a blue five, which there is. So he gets the blue five, the, or the blue off of there, and then his turn is done. If he would have hooked it um, adjacent to a... There was something else that ups his finesse. Um, oh, I'm sorry. He he does not he drifts upwards and not diagonal. So I have been messing that up. So he doesn't drift diagonal like we do. He drifts just he just goes straight up. So he may have. He probably would have caught a fish on the first couple turns, but it's too late to go back now. He just automatically catches the fish. We go to the dice to see what color uh, hatch token he gets. Oh, if there were no tokens available here, he would have just he would have gone up one on the finesse. All right, so. There's that, <clears throat> and then that's going to refill. I'm going to shuffle in this. Got a steelhead. All right. Um, and then it's the end of the round, so this comes off. These all slide down. This comes onto the board, and these go over here. And then the one that's off board is still number four, so four dice. I got a one, two, three, and a four. Okay, so I get three actions. I am probably going to cast. 
I have a green. I'm going to spend a finesse to change my lore color. I'm going to change my lure color. To blue. Then. I'm going to go. I'm going to use the two. To cast here. No, to cast here. No, to cast here. There is a blue, and I have blue, so it's a miss. I will drift down here. There's also a blue there, so I will draw two cards now. A miss and a miss. And then I drift off. So that was a gamble that did not pay off. Um, All right, well, let's try this again. I will spend a finesse, and I'm going to change this four to a five. Then I'm going to cast with that five right here. Alright, cast, and I landed on, there's a blue in that column, so I do get to draw a card. It's a miss. I will drift here to the dolly, and I'm going to draw two cards because there's a blue in that column. Landed it. Then land it. Hooked it. So, I get this. It's worth three points, and it's one strength, and it starts off here in the middle. I will take the blue and put it there. Um, a new fish gets put in place here. These get reshuffled. And now I have one action left. I think what I'm going to do, I want, I want the silent angler to take the, the third row here. So I'm going to take this, and the action I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it in for two finesse. So now silent angler's turn. He gets the three. He starts here. He flips a card. He catches it. Two points. And it was a three, so a three on the track over there would be a gray, and there is a gray, so he gets that one. And then that gets refilled. This gets shuffled. This comes off. This gets moved over down. This goes up one. This goes over to the other side. Uh, it's still four, so I roll the four dice. A two, two threes, and a six. Now I have three actions.
I can spend the 2 to go 2 minus 1 is, is 1, so I go there. That puts that there, so it covers that up. Then I can spend the 6 to reel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And he's going to drop down by 1. And I get the momentum tile. And then I will spend a 3 to go 1, 2, 3. And it pulls him off. And then I get that token there. And now the Silent Anger, Angler goes on three, so there. Catches it again. Um, it was a three. Three was gray. There's a gray one there. And new fish comes out. This comes off. These slide down, this comes on, this comes there, it's still four. Four, five, one, four, five, and six. All right. I have a blue. There's not any blues that are back to back. I need to spend one. Spend a finesse to change my lure. And I'm going to change it to I'll flip it over to orange. Then I'm going to cast into six. I'll cast uh, here. There's an orange there, so I draw a card to catch, so I've got it. Um, it's seven points and it's three strength. Um, uh, that orange I need to grab. There, put it in there and refill. Um, and then continue to keep playing. I'm just going to go ahead and stop here for a moment um, and just run to the scoring here because it's uh, uh, it, it's going to take a, a little while longer to go through. Um, so essentially, once you are done, uh, you go to the scoring phase. Once once uh, somebody catches seven fish. Um, that's the end of the, the round that that round finishes and then um, you count points so you get points for each fish in the top right um, there's gonna be different numbers um, then you get common achievements uh, first to seven fish you get plus two points uh, for sets of the yellow, black, or green fish, you earn three points for every complete set. So, you know, if you have one of each, so right now I have one of each, I've caught one of each, so that's a set that gives me um, plus two po or three points. Um, and then it says most coho. If you caught more coho than any other single player, you earn six point bonus. Um, I'm assuming, oh yeah, there it is, coho, there's, there's a coho. Um, I did not catch any and neither did he, so that's not. Um, every personal, 
personal achievements are slightly different. Personal achievement score. Oh, that's that's down here. So I get one point for each orange, one point for each green, etc. So I have one green, which is one point. I have one white, which is two points. So I have three total, and then a blue I don't score for at all. Um, and then I get two points for each brown Pharrell. I don't have any. I get uh, four points for a per dolly, cutthroat, or brook. I have a dolly. And then I get plus five points if I has, have a set of all five. That I don't know. Let me look here. Yeah. So yeah, and then <clears throat> you 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 score those, you add up your total, and then the silent angler, he does the same common um the same common scoring that you do, which is uh, the common scoring was the uh, first to seven fish sets of the different type or yeah sets of the different colors and then the most coho. So he he does those as well. Um, he gets a bonus wherever his finesse track is. So he's right now he's if the game were to end now it'd be a three. He'd get three points. And then this is his personal um, his personal achievement track there. Um, or no, wait, what is that? Oh, no, that's the common. Yeah, sorry, that's the common one point for each. Um, you earn one point for every hatch token you gain that matches the bonus hatch token. That's in addition. So. And then he has on the map, so there's this map, um, he would score extra points here for different uh, various things. Um, but that's essentially the game, the solo game anyways. I'll probably do another recording where I play through the whole thing, um, but that's it for now.